Today I'd like to talk about um, example four, I believe, in the MOEA framework demo. What this is, is it's uh, getting started using an external programming language to code your objective function. And so this example is for the Rosenbrock problem, which is a very simple uh, test case that has one objective and two decision variables. Um, as you can see on the screen here, I have Rosenbrock.c, and this should be available in the uh, MOEA framework demo. And just like with any C program, we want to look for the main function to see what it does. And as you can see here, we declare uh, an array of variables, objectives. We can also de declare an array of constraint violations if we'd like, if we have a constraint problem. And then we initialize the MOEA. And then we basically have a loop that, that loops through the solutions that the MOEA uh, gives uh, this function. And so the idea is that you're reading in a set of decision variables from the command line, you're evaluating your, your problem, and then you're giving back to the command line a vector of objectives and of constraints. And so what you do is you compile your program um, in your own programming language and you run it and it basically just sits and waits for uh, the algorithm to give it some things to evaluate and so the nice thing is is that it's kind of decoupled from what's going on uh, in the actual algorithm itself so when you use this for your own problem it's going to look very similar uh, to this and I, I'll just walk you through this, the, the parts here um, you have your standard boilerplate uh, include statements here and then you also have to include a header file for MOEA framework.h, which is included um, you know, in, in the distribution. So what this does, and you can see a copy of it here, is it has uh, a bunch of different functions that interact with the uh, algorithm. And there's a nice description of what each of the functions does. And really, all the work that is involved in uh, communicating across the, the command line is done for you in these functions. And then MOEA frameworks.c actually has the functions and you can see, and you can read them, but you don't really need to know how to use them, uh, but they're there for you if, you if you would like to learn more about them. So that's what's, that's the code that you need to include here. And then we have the number of decision variables, the number of objectives. You can also have the number of constraints here as global variables in this uh, uh, file. And then you just call this evaluate function, okay? And so here's what the evaluate function looks like. It's it's pretty it's pretty simple. You you have access to the variables and the objectives, and then in here we're calling some code to calculate the objective function. You can also calculate uh, your objective function using much larger functions, other files, other projects. Everything can be linked together. And then you just need to make a wrapper uh, that, that does it for your problem here. And so we can see it's basically just, you know, this arithmetic on the decision variables. It's being performed in this function, and then the uh, output is the objectives. Okay. And so and you read in the decision variables in line 37 here, and that's done for you. You just have to call this function. And then the evaluate function has access to the decision variables, and then MOEA write gives the decision variables back to um, the algorithm. And so you may wonder how this actually uh, works. Let me just clear here. And so all we need to do to um, compile this then is we can just use the GNU compiler here. Uh, GCC MOEA framework dot C Rosenbrock dot C and then we can call it uh, you know we can name the executable it, run, it compiles so for the last 30 seconds I when I run it you'll notice that it's waiting for some input so I have if I put in input separated by the space and hit enter, you can see that the objective function value is replaced. And uh, here's the optimal value, and then we're done. The next video will show you how to link this in Java, and uh, continue from there. Thanks.